Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. So guys, today is uh, on a Friday and uh, we are already done with having breakfast so this vlog is just basically going to be about maybe my weekend or something a weekend vlog or something of the sort so at the moment i just want to go clear up the mess in my kitchen so now guys i just want to clear up the mess in my kitchen and uh, wash the breakfast utensils that that we just used and then that we're just going to see where the day takes us and uh Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a Savannah. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back. Okay, guys, I'm now down, done with the kitchen. It's looking a bit presentable now, so. So guys, I'm now ready and uh, at the moment it's 11, yeah, 11, and I want to leave the house, then I'm going to be back later in the evening and uh, I'll see you guys later, so yeah.
hi guys so it's saturday and uh, i'm just at home basically chilling not doing anything much yeah, i was just watching a movie and now i just want to show you guys this coffee machine that we got we just got it um, yesterday actually and uh, it arrived yesterday i got it from uh, an online page over here it was such a good deal and we didn't want to miss that so we we had to find a way to get it and uh, i just want to figure out how it works and all that so i'm just going to show you guys all that process and maybe make some and maybe make some coffee for myself with it yeah so so guys here is the coffee machine this is how it looks like it actually looks bigger in, in the video it's not really big it's it's kind of tiny but it's it's really beautiful i really loved it when it arrived so this is how it looks like Uh, there is a book, a manual book. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read through it and try to make coffee for myself. So this is the one that you use a uh, coffee powder. I have coffee powder over here. So guys, I specifically wanted a coffee machine that uses the coffee powder and not the pods i don't know if i make sense because i want to get myself um java coffee they they sell java coffee powders they sell because uh, here in, in tanzania there is no java and i love java i miss java i miss everything about it but i just wanted to get uh this kind of machine so that i can get their coffee and uh, use it here because because I remember there was a time I was at home and I got the coffee the coffee powder and it's not like it's not like the instant coffee where it just disappears you need to like filter it so this is a filter machine filter coffee machine that when you put the powder the coffee just like brews itself and you don't have to filter the powder so I think this will work with the Java coffee but at the moment I have uh, I have coffee here this is a coffee powder and I'm going to be using it. It's actually really nice, but I feel like, but I've not used it a lot of times because I feel like the instant uh, coffee is just, you know, quick, fast. But sometimes I, I use this and I put a, lit, uh, a little bit of ginger and it just takes, tastes amazing. So now, but you know, you have to boil water, you have to put this, it's like, it's, it's a bit of work, so I, I kind of avoid it. But it's really nice coffee. So now with this machine, I'm going to get finished in such a short time. So let me get the manual book so that we can see how we go about this. So guys, I have here the diagram of how the coffee machine looks like. So I'll just show you guys like the outer part of it and just how it looks like. But at this top part over here, there is actually this thingy. There is actually something like this. This it has this. I think it's for measuring your powder, coffee powder. Then it has this part where I think now this one is what filters the coffee. I'm just going to wash them first. Okay, guys. So the first uh, instruction is open the top cover and fill with cold drinking water to the desired level. The water should not exceed the max level as indicated on the machine. So the top part is this part and I've already opened it. Um, the, now we have to put water. So over here somewhere guys, I don't know if you can see but yeah, this this is where it, it's indicated max over here. So you can either put so you can put the amount you want as long as it doesn't exceed this mark over here. This part. I'm just going to put. And you can actually, you can see the water from here. So it's visible. You don't have to check like on the inside. So I just put it up to number and the max is 12 so that's basically 
half. Add coffee grinds into the filter as a guide. Use a cup of coffee. You will need a level spoon of coffee grinds. So here, I think this is the cup they're talking about. But you may adjust according to your personal taste and then close the top cover. Personally, <laughs> I love strong coffee. Place the coffee jug on a warming plate. That's the warming plate. Plug the power cord into the outlet. The LCD will display as 12. Yeah, 12. It's, it's displayed over here, 12. Press on, off button and then and the run will be illuminated red and the brew process will start okay guys i hope i've placed this at the right spot there you go run they said run will be illuminated and it be illuminated red and it's actually red so yeah and the brew process will start Okay, let's wait. Let's wait for it to start, then uh, I show you guys. You can't see clearly because it's hot, so it's forming like, you know, but it has started brewing. Oh wow, this is so nice. So guys, we are done and as you can see my coffee imefika hapo kwa mark ya number 6 and when I was putting the water I had put up to somewhere here like on top of the 6 with maybe half maybe 6 and a 6 and a half somewhere there so they said the water will obviously reduce because the sum will be consumed by the coffee powder so yes uh, i'm so excited guys so the next part is to remove the coffee jug from the maker about one minute later after the coffee stops dripping out and the coffee will stop dripping when you turn it off or come you have set your time because you can set you can actually set your timing somewhere here our minutes with the one the one that you'd like so so the first time I didn't set any timing because I didn't know how long it actually takes but I think now I have an idea and maybe ne next time I'm going to be setting the timer so that when it's done it just goes off by itself uh, yeah so there is my coffee let me pour it up and then I show you guys and we taste it wow <laughs> What I can say is basically when you're placing your kettle, this one, make sure it's at the right spot because it has a space here where when the coffee is brewing and it's supposed to be dripping inside the kettle. So if you kind of misplace it, it's a mojika chini. Thank God I did mine the right way and uh, yeah, I'm so happy I got this. So I've already switched off there. I want to see how the coffee grinds look like. They are grounded, grounded completely. You can see. Uh, mm. This coffee grains or like coffee powder, not the instant ones, these ones, they have a much strong coffee taste, just as I like. So with this machine, it's going to be easier for me to drink that. 
yeah because it just does the work for you and you just pour yourself your coffee it's just amazing i'm so excited for today i didn't have much uh, at the moment i'm just going to enjoy my coffee as i watch a movie then i'm just going to see you guys tomorrow so it's on a sunday and today i want to make a small brunch so i get ideas to make for your family or even for just so guys this is how my brunch turned out for sunday i'm going to be having a video on how i make i made all this and i hope you guys will enjoy it that's it for this vlog i didn't feel much on sunday though it was a really nice day but i hope you've enjoyed the vlog don't forget to subscribe if you haven't don't forget to like comment and share thank you so much for watching bye